Oh my god. I'm obsessed with how this looks. I'm so happy. <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's Rosie. Um, I'm about to hop on another plane back to New York yet again. Let's pack. I figured I could show you what I'm planning on wearing in New York, sort of like a fun fashion lookbook type moment rather than just another like me whipping out the suitcase and tossing stuff in. <laughs> so I figured this might be a more interesting version of that. And I have to say, I'm very much obsessed with my background right now. Like I just keep looking at it. And I'm so happy with how my bookshelves look. Um, but hi, hello, if you're new here, my name is Rosie. I make videos about plus size fashion, which is what this is right now. Um, and then working from home and also grad school, that's gonna be coming up soon. So I'll be talking about that. And just vlogs and life and stuff. I, I don't wanna say split my time, but I have been going back quite a lot. <laughs> um, I live in Denver and then I, and from New York, so I'm just there all the time. This is one of those trips where I'm just going back. Um, unfortunately, not for a very happy reason. I have another funeral for another grandparent twice in a year. That shit sucks, man. Um, but it's, you know, it is what it is. The first one, I was like very sad. And then now this one, the family drama behind it is so messy that I can't just be sad. So instead I've taken to coping with like jokes and you know, just being wild about this one. Um, Cause it's complicated. The other one was just like straight up, we're sad that she has passed away. And this one is like, everything's messy. Let's, let's at least have some fun about it, I guess. If I'm cracking some morbid, some morbid quips in the near future, sorry if that's uncomfy, but that's, that's how we're getting through it. So I'm going back to New York for nine days, eight days like eight days and nine nights I don't know but a significant amount of time in which I will be packing a full suitcase and I honestly out of all the time to be going end of August she's gonna be humid she's gonna be hot she's gonna be sweating so we need options and then I checked the weather app and as far as the weather app knows as of right now there is also going to be a few storms and some days where I might be able to wear pants but I'm not sure so I'll bring them, but I'm not sure. Yeah, so I figured I'd show you what I'm planning on bringing and we'll see what I actually end up bringing. But I thought I wanted to do a summer lookbook at some point and I figured this is probably the closest I'll get to that. So this clearly is not one of the outfits. This, if anything, is probably closer to what I'll be wearing to the airport tomorrow. But let me show you like the more fun, cute outfits that I would like to bring. <laughs> so. This lovely little set is from Ray, W-R-A-Y, N-Y-C, which if you've been here, you know it's one of my favorite plus size sustainable fashion brands. They really like, their stuff hits. And they have so many fun prints and I'm a print girly, so that's really what I'm here for. Um, and all of their things are just, they feel so nicely made and I, I just adore the way I feel in them. Um, and so this, this set is a set I bought for the summer at, during their like, they had like a middle of summer sale, I think. So I got it for like 50% off. And I will say, they are one of the more expensive brands that I frequent. So this set, I think, was around $200. Like, just full transparency. But I own this set, and then I have two other sets, one of which is out of commission because I, I tore a little hole in the pocket, but that was my own damn fault, <laughs> um, not the garments. But I will say that that set that I tore a hole in, unfortunately, is one of my most worn pieces of like all time. Um, so this I am just in love with. Um, honestly, it's meant to, like you bought it as a set and then they want you to wear it like, like this. Now this, I know it works for some people. It's a little too pilgrimy for me. Um, I do just absolutely love the lapels. I just think they're so fun and fresh. And while the green is giving a little more spring, I think I can make it work. End of fall, and not end of fall, end of summer, I think it can happen. And so with this, obviously Ray NYC, and then the shorts are also Ray NYC. This is just my Abercrombie bodysuit that I wear with absolutely everything. And so, 
This is nice and breezy, but I think I would probably wear it. Tied up, nice and open. And that to me is just a bit more my style. So oh, I just love it. I just love it. And I really cannot explain to you just how comfortable this feels. The shorts are a nice length. Like at first I was like, that's kind of an awkward length. But then I was like, I'm not gonna get chub rub in this. So I'm cool with it. Um, and yeah, the print, uh, I was eyeing this on their website for months and then it went on sale and I was like, I must, I guess. So I, I just love it. It's breezy, it's fun. I'm a Ray NYC stan in this house. So if they ever see this by any chance, I love you. The shoes, I'm not, it's not the best angle to show you, but I'm just wearing these fun little slidey guys from Universal Thread at Target. They were like 20 bucks and they, they, along with my fake Birkenstocks from Target, are my go-to shoes for the summer. So, outfit number one, she's coming. Long Island Girl Summer, Montauk Girl Summer, even though I live an hour away from Montauk on Long Island, it's okay. More like an hour and a half, honestly. But whatever. Okay, here's number two. Light, easy, breezy, just a dress. <laughs> um, this dress, as you can tell, I don't have the correct proper bra on for it, but I will be wearing a different bra, don't you worry, if I wear any bra at all. Um, this dress is from American Eagle, and I wore it to a Christmas party almost a year ago now. But I just love it. Um, so I literally wore it to that Christmas party, and then I was like, you're crazy, it's cold, don't wear this again for a while. And then I just sort of tucked her away to the back of my closet. But now that we are approaching fall, at least fashion wise, it is summer into fall season. Transition pieces, we're here for them. And this is perfect. So this has obviously like fun little lacy moment on the side and on the little boobage area and the straps. And the dark green is what's getting fall. That's, that's really what's up here. The actual material, she's giving summer. She's giving spring maybe because this is like super lightweight. This is so thin that I don't think I'd sweat in it. So that's when she's gonna come. My mom really wants to go to this place on Long Island called Salt, which I've seen for a few summers and it's essentially just like a boardwalk restaurant in Merrick, if you are familiar. Um, and it looks gorgeous. And I was like, I wanna bring a fun, cute little outfit for that. So this is super lightweight. This, <laughs> the like fabric, like I said, she screams summer, I'll be comfortable, lightweight, easy. I just throw this on, throw the shoes on again. Same shoes, you don't need to see them again. And we'll be good to go. And it's so comfortable. Like I'm very much just chilling right now. This is not itchy, this is not constricting. She feels good. So we've got a little bit of pre-fall in the color and a whole lot of summer in the rest of the dress. So this will be just like a nice easy Nice easy thing to throw on, which is really the primary focus of my wardrobe in the summer. If I could throw it on real quick and not worry about it, that's a good piece of clothing to me. And here we have outfit number three. Now this guy, she has a story. So I won a giveaway from Young Neighborhood Grandma, who is a thrifter on Instagram. And I've been following her for like two or three years now, and she, in my eyes, she essentially invented the thrift bundle. Like she's been doing them for a long, long time. And she did a giveaway at the top of summer to promote her page and like just show her doing these bundles and like how she creates them. And mine, it just came out so good. It just came out so good. And unfortunately I got it right before like my life went downhill for the summer. So I was gonna make a ton of content about it. And you know, I got COVID, people died. And here we are, um, but I, really do love the pieces she got me and i'm just so obsessed with them and i need to give her a shout out because katarina is so cool and talented and wonderful and you need to look at her page so whenever she opens up her thrift bundles for september i think or october they're they're selling out now which is good because they fucking rock i will be putting her instagram down below please check her out please get a thrift bundle she has such a good eye and she's also like very funny she just like seems cool like someone i want to be friends with so katarina if you ever watch this hey you're sick um, but anyways, this is one of the pieces she thrifted for me and I put down that I wanted the vibes to be like fun, like flowy dresses, like Daisy Jones and the Six. Like that's the vibe I'm going for right now. And she delivered. Um, like I said, 
one of the options was this beautiful chambray esque dress and i think it's from vero moda which is the brand um and obviously she thrifted it so here it is um this necklace is just a really cute um taurus like constellation necklace do not look at my nails don't perceive them sorry i bought this on an instagram ad i can't tell you where it's from sorry but yeah it's so lightweight it's so comfortable it's so flattering like she did such a good job and i'm obsessed with it it's been very easy to just throw on walk out the house and have an outfit like i said love a good dress love a jumpsuit if it's a one-piece outfit i'm in and with this i could wear those other sandals realistically i did want to share that these are my other shoes don't perceive the dirt um that i've been wearing all summer they are my fake birkin socks from target i've gone through like three pairs of these in my life and they're up they're like 20 bucks can't go wrong um but yes so i'm very excited to wear this outfit and just be comfy and cute i really never thought i'd go for a denim dress just because the idea of a denim dress all the ones i've seen are like real denim so they're like really tight and you know starchy i don't like that type of denim i'm a thick girl i need the soft one <laughs> i need the one that's broken in and so this being like cotton that looks like denim it does the job it gets it done speaking of young neighborhood grandma i have one other outfit that i'm going to show you with a piece that she has thrifted for me and you're gonna die here we go like Are we not dying right now? I'm dying right now. I think you might be dying right now too because look at this. Oh. I, I'm so in love with this top. I'm so in love with this top. I think this is my favorite thing from that thrift bundle. So Katarina also got me this one and I couldn't ask for a cuter like crochet moment. The, the, uh, the sleeves, look at the sleeves. I. I just love the colors. It's so comfortable. It's soft. It's lightweight. I'm geeking. I'm geeking. That's it. Um, these, this is also probably gonna go with the Burks. This is more of a Burks outfit, I think. And then these are the dad shorts from Abercrombie Curve Love. I feel like I should have gotten a size up. They fit, but they're like snatching, you know? So I'm not gonna be wearing them when I'm gonna be going out to dinner, but they, oh my God, like I, love this top so much and once again 70s daisy jones vibes katarina has just the best eye so if you're into this please go check her out down below she does such a wonderful job and i cannot recommend her thrifting business more she's so cool okay i'm so excited to wear this i just really can't wait i feel like i'm hoping it'll be okay for summer because it's short sleeved and it's pretty airy if it's not, if it's too hot, mid-fall will do. Mid-fall will do. But I think this is just so fucking cute. So, I love it. And yeah, like I said, this is a Burks outfit. So, my fake Burks will be on my feet. Next, I think I, I have a couple more outfits to show you. I'm gonna be there a while. So, let's head on to the next one. Alrighty. This is our next outfit. Um, I am assuming that no matter how cool it gets, it will still be hot. And it's still gonna be humid, which I'm not used to anymore, thank God, to <laughs> um, living in the mountains. This heat is like dry heat, which I didn't realize was a thing until I got here, and bam. I've noticed the difference, oh my God, so much. And honestly, love it. Love to be in the dry heat. Not really looking forward to the mugginess, but it is what it is. I can't control the weather. So I'm assuming that no matter how hot or cold it gets, this is about as much I, that I would be able to handle being covered with clothes. So tank top is from Target. It's from the A New Day collection and fully bought this in May. I think I bought this the last time I was in New York, actually, yeah. Beginning of May, end of April. Um, being like, I need to get really tan so I can wear this and look really tan. And I think it worked. I think it worked. I think I did a good job. Um, so it's super soft and comfy and it's like, as you can see, it's like crinkly. And because of that, 
it like wicks sweat so it's great for just being outside and also whenever i'm showing a shirt my instinct is to just like grab my boobs so sorry if you notice me doing that a lot it's just they're there and i can't move around them very well so anyways these jeans are from old navy these i also bought the last time i was home and god damn am i obsessed these are the best jeans i have purchased all of 2023 um they are from old navy they are i think like the highest rise uh wide leg and i'll put you down a little bit so you can see how it flares all right i'm just on my tippy toes so you can see but they are like very wide legs so they've been pretty comfortable for the summer like i get a little breeze down there it's good the light wash is so nice and they're soft these are like the soft type of denim i like because it's not denim denim it's like i don't know stretchy denim they're not quite like jaggy material but they are soft enough that i can comfortably sit and enjoy myself and live my life so big fan so this this is going to be an outfit for the burks for sure 100 percent although i do love i have worn this with my my like nice braided sandals and that works too but knowing myself the burks are comfier <laughs> so on to the next now you knew this video couldn't end without any big butt press in it right so we've got an entire big butt press outfit for you my ac is coming down right here and it feels so good all right back to the task at hand i think this is just such a perfect like september outfit really um but i'm going at the end of august it's okay i love it i have well i just left this necklace on from before once again instagram ad can't help you there but this tank top is as you can see all mushrooms in this beautiful like idyllic forest scene and this was designed by like a famous surf print designer that they did a collab with and he unfortunately passed away so i think they have some dead stock clothes that they're coming out with in this print like with leftover fabric so if i can find some of those i will but it was like a limited run so i'll do my best but i love it it's so cute their tank tops are very well made they're thick enough to not feel cheap but thin enough that I don't feel like suffocatingly hot when I wear them. And then we've got our trouser pants. The trouser pants are officially my favorite from Big Bug Press, I have decided. They just fit the most comfortable. I like that they balloon a bit around the thighs because they're just, they're more comfortable that way. And these, you can't tell because it's not like super important to the narrative we are presenting here, but these are a petite, version which i myself as a curvy woman have never considered myself to be petite not once in my life but when you have a clothing brand that is size inclusive and has petite regular and tall you might just realize that you got short little legs that can fit in petite clothes if the rest of this fits so thankfully I can get these so these hit like right up my ankles and it's perfect like they don't drag i very frequently have pants that drag under my sneakers because i'm only five six i'm average height but like a lot of me is torso and then my legs are not that long <laughs> so it has been a game changer being able to buy pants that fit me here and then also like the length fits because that is just not a thing in regular straight size clothing so these are like espresso brown, caramel brown. I don't know what the color is. I will link them down below because they're part of their permanent collection. But they are petite and uh, they fit so nicely. And they're loose and airy and like I can like run in these if I wanted to. Not that I know why I would be running. I'm not planning on it. But if I wanted to, if I needed to, I could. And I just love them. And the browns work so well together. This is just like so foresty. And like natural, all natural version of like a nude outfit. I love it. I'm digging it. I'm about it. So this is our final look. I'm actually gonna wear probably sneakers with this, my Air Force Ones, which you know what Air Force Ones look like. I'm not gonna get them out of the closet. So just just picture that in your pretty little brain. And that, my sweet sweet friends, is my final outfit. I am packing more things, but they're boring and not worth showing you. So there's just a couple 
things that like you have absolutely seen before on my channel so there's no point in bringing them out here <laughs> so if you've made it this far thank you so much for watching i hope you found some fun pieces that maybe you want for yourself or like some outfits that you're like oh i have stuff like that i can wear it and yeah um if you're new here once again thanks for hanging thanks for sticking around as i film this i'm super close to 400 subscribers which is really sick and i think i i have no idea when this is going up hopefully soon um i have two vlogs that i filmed i think i'm scrapping at least one of them because they're just sad and they're i don't we can do one sad vlog two in a row that's a little much so this is going up probably sooner than I think it is. Um, but all the rambling aside, if you liked hanging out with me, please subscribe. Please leave me a comment letting me know what you're doing with your end of summer. Like, are you going anywhere? Are you just like settling in, enjoying your, your piece of the world wherever you are? Like I said, I'm making videos about plus size fashion, about working from home, living in Denver, traveling a lot this year, <laughs> which is great, but you know, Maybe not for the happiest reasons, but it's okay. Uh, and yeah, I make tons of random, fun, lifestyle type videos. And if you want to hang out, let's hang out. I love you. I hope you're having a fabulous whatever time of day you're in. And I will see you next time.